Okay, it's Friday the 24th. That's one day before the arrivals day when all the freshers arrive on campus. It's 4 p.m. Let's go and find out how our centre is going. Uh, so, this, this is the plug bar. Um, as you can see, brand new pool table, table area there. Um, we've got all the same with regards to booths. And one of the fantastic things about the student centre is we've managed to actually extend our bar. So, as you can see, it's, uh, it's doubled in size. It used to be located over that side. Now it's over here and it's extended. Um, we have more booths over here. Uh, which is fantastic. One of the great things about the student centre is actually managed to increase uh, the size of Plug because the stairs that used to exist within Plug uh, now exists from level 2 to level 3, that is, uh, within the new build, which you'll see in just a moment. But as you can see, the size of the Plug bar is, uh, is grown quite significantly. Um, we just stroll through to elements um, as you can see there's a, still a lot to do in here tonight um, unbelievable that this uh, venue is going to be open tomorrow the freshest big events managers are going to use this uh, to, to house all the wristbands and uh, the wristband sales for freshers week um, so as you can see there's so many uh, people working in here it's actually over 110 builders in here with Britannia the contractor um, and even more with the students union to actually finish things off within elements so now we're coming out into the new build um, this is the chill out zone this is all on level three remember so just outside the plug bar so through those doors the um, a fantastic thing about the new student center is we have uh, had uh, a fantastic donation by the alumni fund and we've got well there, there will be over 40 screens installed within the centre and as you can see um, several areas of the student centre we have these um, sunk uh, locations if you like for the screens so they're going to be recessed into the walls this is the new parade there was a void there originally um, however as you can see well there's, there's still a hole uh, right about there and unfortunately that hole is still going to exist for a couple of weeks because as you can see that's the chute that they're going to use to get rid of all of the rubbish. Um, another thing you can see is obviously all the furniture's arrived. This is the last day essentially. Freshers will I mean this is the this is the date that we were hoping for. Unfortunately, with it being so busy, um, it's uh, it's looking unlikely that the whole centre will open tomorrow. However, the, uh, the areas that we really need is the is plug and elements with regards to the, 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 the information points for Freshers Week. As you can see above the staircase, quite a grand staircase, and again more recessed screens at the staircase, which hopefully add is quite a feature. Um, we have a, a fantastic atrium. One of the great things about the centre is there's lots of light. And this is the this is the facade that you can see from the outside that's um, this kind of a blue facade of the building um, and as you can see further to the left of the building is the new bus arrivals square um, coming up onto the new parade and then through um, a hole if you like uh, the, where, where they've knocked through where pit stop and the laundrette and everything used to be right so again more furniture here one of the things we have here, uh, we have the Advice and Representation Centre. Now this is, uh, this is from the merge of AWAY, which is uh, all about uh, the, the welfare of students and advice and information, and the representation um, from uh, ARC, which is more academic related, so uh, anything to do with your course. Now uh, they've merged and they'll be found uh, within this part of the new centre, very student facing um, and you can go there for any information, any advice uh, that, that you want. Uh, the two sabbatical officers will also be moved over there along with the staff and two SABs will be the Vice President Education and the Vice President Welfare and Diversity. So that's Matt and David this year. Um, again, 
this this is again more space so you can appreciate how many people are actually working in here people are tripping over each other as they're trying to deal with things um, through this part of the corridor um, this will be the finance department so all the clubs and societies there's Ben Cole as the previous vice president of communications he's now working uh, closely with sub TV uh, not yes yeah, sub TV um, who's been contracted to actually fit out all the the screens that we've been seeing around the area so he's working in here um, down here we'll have uh, several of the offices the staff offices and we get back into plug I won't spend too long in plug bar um, however and there's mr. John Morgan uh, he's actually made lots of this happen John how are you feeling Stressed. Stressed, yeah. But happy. Indeed, but happy. It's getting there, it's getting there. Um, so this behind the bar for all of those of you who have worked around the bar. Great to see we've got some water day before. This is fantastic. I think we have in here, this is where the kitchen's going to be. Um, hopefully we can enhance the, the menu that we have within the kitchen because the kitchen has doubled in size. Um, what else do we have? I think it's probably about time we uh, we head downstairs. So let's see what we have on level two. So this is a fantastic open staircase. Again, we're going to have screens that are going to be submerged into the wall. Mick, would you like to say anything? No. No. <laughs> it's been Mick's a challenge and it still is. It, is, it still is. It's but it's getting there. Fantastic, fantastic. And it is going to open tomorrow, yeah? Yes. Oh, brilliant. 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 <laughs> Fantastic. Right, so what do we have down here? Um, well, this is basically, this is this is what we've been really asking for. This is what we've lobbied the university for for years, and that is social space, uh, non-commercial social space. This is quite a large new area that we have, um, and imagine level two of the library style. It's going to be very chilled out and comfortable seating uh, down here. Again, notice the brackets on the walls where these screens are going to go up. It's going to be littered with screens, if you like. Oh, right, here's, here's Top Dog. Tim, what, 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 what can you say to all the viewers before, before the launch tomorrow? Enjoy the beer. Enjoy the beer. Enjoy the beer. <laughs> all right, guys. I totally agree with that. Oh, you don't, oh. That's, not, that's not very good at Susie. So... What we're going to do. Um, okay, this is the main entrance. So you'll walk through the main entrance to see if we can get out there. Um, as you walk through the. Okay, we'll squeeze through. This is the new parade area. Um, and as you can see, this is a new kind of arrival screen. And I don't know whether it pick up in the distance, but there's a bridge over the road that's going to um, allow you to come up both access routes. So either from the bus or from the car park, you won't need to cross the road, just come straight up. And the first thing you'll see will be this fantastic student center. Uh, and the facade that we were in earlier, that's the blue facade on level three. Um, kind of a, a, a Django block, if you like. Um, not through that area, so you can walk straight out onto the parade. But the main entrance will be underneath the facade. And these will obviously be automatic doors. And you'll see, welcome to the Students' Union. This is the Student Centre, and obviously fantastically supported by the Alumni Fund. Um, so you can take a right or a left from the main entrance, take a right, and this is where we will have the Students' Union reception area. Um, as you can see, all this stuff is there. Um, not in much order at the moment. <laughs> um, Continue to walk through on level two. Then we have we have Hi. URB, and uh, actually we have some some people from URB in here now. They're doing a bit of decorating themselves. Hello, Hello. How's Hello. it going? Hi. We're we're painting and stuff. It's pretty it, awesome. Is is is, is this going to be ready for tomorrow? Yes, this will be ready. Yes. But this will be the first ready. thing that's It'll ready. It'll be a lot more ready than what it is. This is going to be ready tonight. Yeah. Be confident, guys. This I've just spoke to both the site manager and the project team leader, and they're both very confident that this will be open tomorrow. This is going to be done by five o'clock this evening. Five o'clock this evening. It's quarter past. It's bloody hell! It's quarter past four. <laughs> yeah. It's going to be done by five past. 
four or five, yeah. In the morning. Okay. No. Fantastic. All right. We'll uh, we'll we'll move on. That was fun. <laughs> right. So, following through, we now have the student centre shop, um, which is obviously uh, more of what everybody loves. Uh, it's uh, very similar to what it was before uh, the development of the centre. Um, as for the area that we've missed out, um, behind the staircase, if you like, to the left of the entrance, this is where pit stop and the other commercial operations, uh, proper pasties and Costa Coffee will be. So, as you can see, um, hopefully we have a much better system down here um, and you won't find that uh, the queues will be as bad with the new system. Um, this is where Costa Coffee will be in the corner. But as you can see, there's so much stuff here. Um, lots of work needs to be done uh, to actually get it to, um, uh, well, to a working standard. Um, we've been told that the we've been told that the upstairs plug-in elements will be signed off, finished tonight. Um, and that's where the Freshers Week events managers will be able to. Um, that's where they'll be able to sell the wristbands and have the information point for all the Freshers that arrive tomorrow. Um, however, oh well, here you go. Here's Sub TV installing some of the screens now. Um, however, the rest of the centre may not be open until uh, Sunday, Monday. But as you can see. There's so many members of staff in here working. It's a priority for everyone to get this done on time. So hopefully it can be done, it's satisfactory, uh, and it's everything you guys want. So hopefully you can get in here tomorrow and see it for yourselves. Bye for now.